for this one the lead code problem number 26 if we see some of the com popular companies who have asked this question there are companies like apple facebook amazon microsoft google bloomberg linkedin and intel they have all asked this question so that is why this is a really important question and let me let's just quickly go through that what is the problem statement and then we would try to make the solution now in this case if you want you can again read this whole thing i'm just going to explain it to you quickly uh the problem we are given is that we are given a sorted array that is cool always love when the array is sorted makes things life so much easier now in this case we are told that it could be possible that sorted array can have duplicated entries so the moment we identify duplicated entries we don't care about all the duplicated entries but the thing we care about is that in the initial portion of the array the uh, all the distinct values has to be present all the other values we can mark them as anything like x or underscore or hash or whatever you want we don't care about those values so in this case we are given an input array with seven characters but if we see the number of distinct characters we have we only have zero as a distinct character then we have one two and three so zero one two and three these are the only distinct characters we have now for these three characters we don't care anything so we are not going to mark them basically they were duplicate entries and we are not concerned but in this case we are concerned with the distinct characters and the moment we find the distinct characters we need to put them at the beginning and then return uh, whatever the solution we have been able to find so what is the brute force way to do this problem again brute force way is pretty simple we just take uh, one uh, one value and we will try to see that okay how many duplicates there is there is one and then we add that then keep on repeating the same process and then uh, if this is a duplicated entry again we move on to the next value so this approach is guaranteed to give you the answer in big of n square solution so brute force is always not a good way to go the next way to go is that we can actually try to do something smarter here and what we are going to do is obviously you know this is a two pointer solution so of course we are going to use two pointers but since we are using here two pointers we are also going to uh, find a way to store the index value so we are going to have a index value and we are going to initialize it with starting position one now this first value is guaranteed to be a distinct value because we are told that there is at least one value in the array and that value has to be part of the original distinct value so we are going to directly put it over here and that is why we put the index pointer at value number one now index pointer is just a way for us to iterate over and also these two pointers what we are going to do is initially they are both going to be they are both going to lo be located at the same place but the end pointer is going to move few steps ahead till it finds a distinct new distinct value that is what we what it is going to do so in this case currently uh, starting and ending pointer so this value is same as this one so we need to skip this part so we are not going to care about this value we are going to move the move to the next value now our starting and ending values both are located at this position this is a distinct value the moment we find a distinct value since uh, we find the first distinct value for this index position number one we are going to add it over here so we add value over here the moment we add the value to our uh, array and we find like a new distinct value we are going to do index plus plus so now our index value is going to be 2 and the next distinct character we find we are going to add it to position number 2 which we find immediately immediately we find it because this is a new one because the end pointer went there and it didn't find any dis any duplicate values so again 2 comes over here and our index value gets updated to value number 3 now uh, we uh, currently the scenario is that our starting and ending values both are at the same position so currently the starting pointer is located over here ending pointer is located over here now this ending pointer is going to go one step further so currently ending pointer is at value number two again this value number two is the same as the previous value since it is the same value starting pointer is going to remain here ending pointer uh, was here it didn't find anything so now ending pointer we go will go to the next value next value is a distinct value again distinct value starting and ending pointer becomes at the same position index value becomes 4 and the value we added to our input so we added value number 3 to our answer 
now again at position number three ending pointer go to the next this is already uh three now ending pointer tries to go to the next array ended so we can't do anything about it and this we can return it as the answer we don't care about these values because that is none of our concern but you see even in this case rather than coming on one side starting and ending pointers were working in tandem to go from one step to the other step to find the answer this was a, an easy problem and in this case i intentionally chose this problem because we are at the same apart from using two pointer solution at the same time we are use, also using sliding window technique because we are creating a window between starting and ending pointer and the moment we find some solution reasonable solution we shift our window depending on the conditions and this is a beautiful way to solve this problem and that is why i decided to keep this solution at the last so let's see the coding solution for remote duplicates from sorted array problem uh, basically as mentioned we are going to initialize a variable called insert index and this is going to mark it value number one because we already have the first value stored inside our given input array uh, because that is unique for sure then we start our for loop from the first position not from the zeroth position because we already took care of the first value and then all we need to do is we need to keep on in incrementing this value number uh, i until we find the duplicate entries and if the entries are not duplicate which means we found the distinct value then at that time we are going to add that position of nums of i to our insert index and which is located initially it would be one and at the same time we would increase its value and then we would keep on repeating this process till we reach to the end of the loop and basically in the end we simply need to return the insert index value and this is going to be the whole solution this is going to give us that uh, how many number of uh, distinct elements are present inside the given array and uh, let's try to run this code okay seems like our solution is working let's submit this code and our code runs 100% nearly 100% faster than all the other solution which is pretty good if you want i am going to post the solution of this code in the comments of this video also at the same time you can check out my github where i have solution for every single video i have done so far and uh, there are a lot of lead code problems so this could be a good resource i'm going to post this link in the description as well thank you